Hey everyone, Andrew Chalman here with ADSR Sounds, bringing you a first look at the Machine 2.3 update. Um, so this update includes some improvements in several areas, including uh, general usability, library, and some new drum synths and internal effects. Um, so I'm going to go through and talk about some of the points that stood out to me. If you want a full list of the improvements, you can take a look either on the NI website or in your Service Center updater. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is talk about the new drum synths. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with an empty group here and load some up. So I'm going to press shift and browse, make sure I'm on internal and instruments, and then here I can load up some drum synths. So I'll start with a kick, a snare, hi-hat, uh, two toms, and then a cymbal. Um, so we have a totally new drum synth, is the is the cymbal, uh, cymbal drum synth. This is completely new and we have a crash engine and a ride engine to play with there. Now in the existing drum synths, such as the snare and some other ones, we have new engines. So the snare now includes a breaker engine, um, the hi-hat includes hybrid, and the toms include hi, and those are all new. Um, so you can go ahead and play with these. Just because of my style of production, I don't find myself using the drum synths on their own, but they're really helpful for layering in with some sample drums just to sort of fill out your drum sound. Um, so have fun playing with those new drum synths and new engines, and uh, now I'm going to move on to the new effects. Um, so I'm going to put these on the drum synth group just to show you how they sound. So I'm going to go shift browse, and make sure I'm on internal, and let's take a look at the new effects. Um, so the first one here is a new limiter, if I load this up. Uh, we have a transparent mode, and if you want the old limiter, that is called legacy. Um, so under transparent, we have some options for threshold release and sealing. Um, this is, does a very good job of just bringing up the overall level of your group without really uh, changing the sonic content of it too much, without adding too much uh, distortion or anything like that. So you can bring the threshold down and just bring up the overall level. So that is with the limiter on. If I bypass it, I think this is going to be very helpful, um, especially in a mastering situation if you just throw this on the master bus. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next effect here. Um, that is going to be the cabinet effect. And I believe this is from Guitar Rig. It's a nice cabinet emulation effect here. So you have options for a cabinet, for a microphone, distance, and mix. And this is really cool to play with. Um, I think it's meant for guitar sounds because it comes from Guitar Rig, um, but I find it gives some cool effects on the on the drum group here. You kind of get a cool lo-fi sort of feel to it. So we can play around with this. Um, I have a group of guitars here. Let's add this to the guitars. So, so this is how it sounds with it on if I bypass it. So lots of fun with that new effect. Uh, they're giving us some more creative potential. Um, next we have a new, uh, a new reverb effect, and I'm really excited about this because I didn't really like any of these stock machine reverbs uh, before this update, but this new reverb is really helpful. Uh, it gives a lot of different options. So we have three different modes, uh, room, hall, and plate, and the plate one is actually directly from the old one. They just incorporated it into this new reverb, and the, the other ones give a really nice long reverb tail to your drums, or whatever you're putting the reverb on. So this is going to give you some really big sounds. It's probably not going to sound the best on a drum group like this, um, but lots of options if you want to get that really, really rich sound to your reverb. It's also worth noting that there's a low shelf and a high cut if you want to further affect the sound of your reverb. Um, so that is another new effect there, that new reverb. And if you'll notice, the old one is now called Legacy. Um, if you want to go back and do that, and also your old projects with that old reverb will load up just fine. And finally, I'm going to talk about distortion here. Um, we have a new mode called Analog. The old one is called Mulholland. 
Um, the analog just gives a, another sound to your distortion that you can go ahead and play around with. Probably not the best sound putting this on drums, um, but if you have something more sort of uh, applicable for distortion, you got a new mode to play with there. Um, so that covers the new effects and the new uh, drum synths. Um, I'm going to also talk about a, a cool way that Native Instruments has uh, changed the arpeggiator. Um, so if I go ahead and go into note repeat where the arp is located, and we see we have this option up here for a hold. And what this is going to do is allow you to play the arps without holding down the pads. Um, so that's how it sounds when I don't have this enabled, I have to keep the pads held down. But if I enable this, I can just play the pads once and the arp will continue. I did notice that you have to be pretty careful when recording with the ARP hold, um, just because when the pattern loops back to the beginning, it's going to still play the ARP, it's not going to disable it or anything, so you just have to make sure that you don't overwrite anything and get some weird sounds, uh, just something to be careful of. Another cool improvement is the ability to navigate your plugin chain when you're in the browser. Um, so if, on a, if I'm on a group here and I have several effects loaded up, um, say I add another one here, and then I'm in the browser. If I, press, if I press shift here, I can move through the effects chain, and that's going to allow me to add effects um, within the effects chain at the right position. Um, so you don't have to exit it and then select your one here. You can just do it from within the browser by pressing shift. Um, so I think that will come in handy quite often. Machine 2.3 also has some additions for the complete control keyboards. Um, so if you're a user of one of those keyboards, I'd read up on the additional features that come with complete control 1.1 and the integration of that in machine. And really a big addition now is the inclusion of Complete Select, a collection of complete instruments and effects. Um, if you have Complete 10 or Complete 10 Ultimate, this isn't gonna be the most value to you just because you already have those products. Um, but if you don't have those complete packages, this new Complete Select is going to give you a lot of new content to work with. Um, so stay on the lookout for an email about the download and registration of Complete Select. Um, so hopefully this video is helpful, gives you a good idea of the 2.3 update. Now, like I said, I didn't cover all of the little points just because there's a lot of a lot of minor things that would take a lot of time to cover. Um, so go ahead and read up on the NI website for all the additions, and let me know if you have any questions. I will be checking the comments regularly. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next machine video.